Hello everybody again, this is Goddess Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make a basic catalog icon. Um, so what we want to do first off is hit File, New, and you want to make sure the width is 100 pixels and the height is 80. Um, make sure it's selected as pixels and not something else. So we're going to click OK. And as you can see, oh, we got to move this. I like it, so it's in the middle of my screen. Okay, and so our next step is to go under image, size, 400. Well, I like to work with 400. You can do it smaller if you want to, but um, at 400, you can have, you can see the details a little bit better. So what you want to do is you got one layer right here, so we're going to edit, fill with some color. Let's use pink. I like pink, so we are going to use pink. Click OK. OK. And as you can see, it is pink. OK, so my next step, I'm going to put another layer and edit, fill. We're going to do a different color. Let's go with black. Okay. Okay. And what I want to do, I want to put like a border around here. So what I'm going to do is just do it like that. And then click your delete button. And so that just poops out a little bit more. What I'm going to do is go to my blending options, which is a little button over here so we're going to give it a drop shadow and we're going to emboss this a little bit you can always change your style of the emboss click OK and as you can see you have a basic square here um, I can show you um, what I'm going to do is open my view uh, let's go under Abby Picks this is just basic, so you guys get the gist of what I'm trying to do. And what we're going to do is click on our Move tool. And I'm going to drag that over here. You can always, like, say this is for air or something. So what we want to do is close those layers down. And I'm going to pull that between there. And as you can see, we have a basic icon, and we can put some font here. And I'm just going to type, um, let's go to black, G-O-D-E-S-S. I'm going to highlight this and make it a little bit bigger. Let's say about 60. And you can always play around with your text layers. Um, can give it a drop shadow and emboss it. Add a little bit of satin, change the color, click OK, and then OK. And as you can see, we have a basic icon. You can always put that like anywhere you want. You can always change the color. So, we'll, what we want to do next is file and save as. And make sure you save it as something you can remember or something like that. Um, and save it as a PSD format. So click save so you can use it next time you want to make your icon so they're all the same. So we're going to close that right for the moment. Okay, so this is the hair I'm trying to work on. Um, go to image, size, and where it says width. We're going to take that back down to 100. And you have your 100 by 80 icon and save that. Best way to do it if you want some transparency, save it as a picnic image, or you can always save it as a JPEG, which always takes up less space on your external hard drive or um, your basic hard drive. Okay, that concludes this tutorial this time. Um, if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to leave me a message on my IMU, or you can always um, leave me a message on my YouTube also. Um, thanks, and everybody have a good day now.